What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to calculate the pH of weak acid solutions. So if you remember in the previous video I was talking about calculating the pH of strong acid. And you know strong acid they dissociate into its ions completely, 100% and it is irreversible reaction. But in weak acids we are dealing with an irreversible reaction and only some percent of it is dissociated. And the remaining 90, 90, 95% of it remains unreacted. Let's do the first example. Calculating the pH of hydrofluoric acid, which is HF, pH of one molar solution of HF. And the Ka is given. So whenever the Ka is given, it means that we are dealing with a weak acid. So Ka equals to 7.2 times 10 to the power of negative 4. So we write the chemical reaction first. HF equals solution gives proton plus fluoride. H and F. And Ka is 7.2 times 10 to the power of negative 4. It is given. And on the second line, we need to write down the auto-ionization of water, which is H2O gives proton and hydroxide. And we know that Kw is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14. So we can say Ka equals to proton, the concentration of proton times concentration of fluoride divided by the concentration of HF. As you see here in the bottom, 7.2 times 10 to the power of negative 4 equals to proton times concentration of fluoride divided by concentration of HF. So initially, the concentration of HF is 1 molar per liter, 1 mole per liter, and fluoride and proton is 0. Or we can say proton is 10 to the power of negative 7, because water dissociated and we have 10 to the power of negative 7. So because it's so small, we consider it 0. Then the final one is going to be HF at initial concentration minus X, which is 1 minus X, and fluoride is going to be 0 plus x and proton is going to be 0 plus x. That's basically similar to constructing an ice table. So Ka will be 7.2 times 10 to the power of negative 4. And in the top we have proton, which we have it x plus 0, which is x. Fluoride same thing, x. And HF is going to be 1 minus x. So we cross multiply it. And we can say... 1 minus x, since x is much smaller than 1, we neglect that x in denominator. So that's going to be reduced to x times x divided by 1 equals to 7.2 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Basically, x squared equals to 7.2 times 10 to the power of negative 4. So we see it here, x squared equals to approximately 7.2 times 10 to the power of negative 4. x will be approximately square root of 7.2 times 10 to the power of negative 4, which is 2.7 times 10 to the power of negative 2. And now for, this is going to be the concentration of proton. If we want to find the pH, pH will be negative log concentration of proton. So if you put in the calculator, it's going to be 1.57. pH will be 1.57. Let's see the next example. Next example, we need to again find a pH of a weak acid or weak acids so it says the hypochlorite ion OCl- is a strong oxidizing agent often found in household ble bleaches and disinfectants it is also the active ingredient that forms when swimming pool water is treated with chlorine in addition to its oxidizing abilities the hypochlorite ion has a relatively high affinity for protons it is a much stronger base than Cl minus, for example, and forms the weakly acidic hypochlorous acid. And hypochlorous acid is a weak acid, and Ka is 3.5 times 10 to the power of negative 8. Calculate the pH of a 0.1 mole per liter equals solution of hypochlorous acid. So Ka is given, so it means that hypochlorous acid, HOCl, is a weak acid. 
So when it is dissociated in water, we will have proton and OCl minus. Ka is 3.5 times 10 to the power of negative 8. For the second line, we can write the auto ionization of water. Kw is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14. Ka will be 3.5 times 10 to the power of negative 8 equals to concentration of proton times concentration of OCl minus divided by concentration of HOCl. Initial is given for acid is 0.1 and the initial concentration of the other two is 0 and for proton is approximately 0 because we neglect 10 to the power of negative 7. Then after constructing an ice table, HOCl will be 0.1 minus x, OCl minus will be 0 plus x and proton is going to be 0 plus x which is x. So the concentration of acid after dissociation will be 0.1 minus x and the ions will be just x. So if we go back here and sub it there, we have 3.5 times 10 to the power of negative 8 equals to x times x divided by 0.1 minus x. So we then neglect x comparing to 0.1, so we can consider it very small, so we neglect it, that will reduce to 3.5 times 10 to the power of negative 8 equals to x squared divided by 0.1. So x will be 5.9 times 10 to the power of negative 5 and that's the proton concentration and if we put it in the formula for pH which is negative log we can find the pH which in this case is 4.23. I hope you enjoyed this video if you found it useful please like this video you can also subscribe this channel to find out lots of other videos regarding chemistry and some topics in math. Thank you for watching and have a great day.